Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Seven Wonders. This is the digital adaptation of the popular board game. You can find this on your iOS app store for about five bucks or so. I'm sure it's on the Android device as well. So I don't actually own the tabletop game. The tabletop game is roughly 50 bucks, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just try the digital game first. It's only five dollars, and if I like it, maybe I'll think about buying the actual game. So Seven Wonders, from my understanding, is a drafting game of sorts. It's similar to Sushi Go in the sense that you've got a hand of cards, you're going to choose one to play, and then you're going to pass your entire hand to the next person. Then you'll be receiving a set of cards from the other person to your left. So you're just going to keep doing that over and over and over again. And you're going to be laying down more and more and more cards. In this game, you're going to be gaining resources, you're going to be trying to get victory points, and uh, yeah, it's actually quite fun. I've only played two games so far, and I'm really liking it. Options menu, I'm going to tap that in the bottom right-hand corner real quick. You can see that there's music and effect toggles, there's validate the action and IA names. I'm thinking maybe that's AI names, I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into a game. Now, I'm not going to promise you I'm any good at this. I'm just going to show you what it's like, and you can go from there. So on the left-hand side, there's Offline Play Solo versus AI. There's Quick Match Online and Custom Game Online. You can also choose between three to seven players. Um, I do have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. There's also two expansions, Leaders and Cities. Um, I don't own any of those. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and play Solo versus the AI three players. And it looks like you can actually choose a starting faction, uh, like Babylon, Alexandria, and they have different wonder bonuses. Uh, if you look above, there's three different tabs. One has like a three surrounded by leaves. Um, then you've got the science looking symbols. Well, there's three of them there. And then a seven with some leaves around it. That's what you get should you build wonders for that civilization. You can build a total, I guess there's three stages of a wonder. And if you build all three stages, you get all three bonuses. If you build just the one, then you get the first tabs bonus and so on. So more wonders means more stuff. I'm going to go ahead and choose, I guess, roads. Um, there's three victory points. The second upgrade is military. And then the last one is just more victory points. So we'll go ahead and um, start game. And I'm using a uh, software to port this to my computer, so if there's any lag or anything, I apologize. So basically, I'm going to take a look at the bottom of the screen. That's, this is my hand of cards, and I'm going to choose one to play. The green border around a card means I have enough resources to play it, and it won't cost me anything. The yellow border means I can, if someone else has that resource, I can pay them to coin to use it. So if you look on the very left, there's a green card. There's a yellow border around it. I can play it, but only if I pay two gold coins to do it. Um, the red card means I can't play it, if, even if I wanted to. If I wanted to pay someone, I couldn't do it. So I'm going to start by, um, for my first wonder, I need to get, it looks like, two wood. Yeah, grants three victory points. I need two. Upper left-hand corner is the cost to build it. And to build a wonder, or at least the, the stage of a wonder in this game, you have to discard a card. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this lumber yard. It's the middle, the very middle card. I'm just going to move that up here. Oh. Okay, so lumber yard. I'm going to drag that up here. Here we go. And now I passed my cards to the next player, and I'm just receiving some cards from the other player. Uh, the computers are in upper left-hand corner and upper right-hand corner. Uh, Alexandria and... Epith Epithesos? <laughs> sure. Um, let's go ahead and play. Um, this one is produces one stone each turn. I can use stone. Some of these cards require resources to build, so you may need some of these brown cards to produce resources for you. The blue cards seem to be straight out victory points. The green cards are more science. Uh, you'll receive bonuses for um, sets of symbols. For those cards and this one here is each turn you may purchase raw materials brown cards from the city of your left for one coin instead of two you know let's just play stone get some more resources okay so the computer built a stockade uh on the upper right hand corner that so he's got one military power at the end of every act or, or age rather you're going to compare your military strength and if you've got more than your opponent you'll get some victory points, which is good. I may want to build this barracks to stay competitive. There's a barracks on the bottom there. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and build that barracks. All right, I could do another barracks, but that's going to cost me two gold coins on the very bottom there because I don't have enough money for that. Um, let's... There's an ore vein. I need ore to build my third stage of my... Uh, third stage of my wonder, so I may want to do that. Um, you know, let's go ahead and put that ore vein there. All right. Um, okay, victory points, victory points, or uh, I can build this uh, glass. Uh, let's go with victory points. Sure, we'll put a theater down. And I can choose brick. This gray one produces papyrus each turn. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use... Which one I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and put brick down. I think brick is needed for my second... Yeah, I need three brick for my second stage. So I think we're tied on military. Yeah, so really no victory points awarded there. So we're all even. Age two. Okay, um, the walls would be nice to have, but I can't build it. There's a red border around that card. Just No one has the resources for that. I can build a sawmill, which gives me two more wood, and then I can then maybe build the first stage of my wonder later on. But I need, uh, I'm going to, it's going to cost me one gold to do that. Um, I'm looking for stuff that's free. The statue has a little chain symbol. That means I have the prerequisite building. I either pay the resources I need, or I need to have the building that uh, precedes it. In this case, this is a statue. I've got, I guess, the theater. So I guess if I had the theater, that chains into the statue. So I could put the statue down for four flat-out victory points. Let's go ahead and do that. It's free. And um, Foundry gives me two ore. That could be useful. Uh, I need to pay one gold coin for that, though. Um, this one is free. Cloth. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the foundry going. All right. Um, I need more lumber. Hmm. I might have to pay someone for that lumber. Uh, I can I can get the the brickyard, and that would allow me to build my middle. Yeah, let's go ahead and do. That. I'm going to pay one gold coin to get this brickyard. And um, I, I think can't pay for the walls. All right, so what I'm going to do... Oh, I can take the sawmill. Hmm. I can either take the sawmill now, and that would give me the wood that I need to build my first stage for my wonder. Or I can just pay two gold coins to whoever has the resources for that. Um, I may do that. I've got 13 gold coins, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah. There we go. So now I have three victory points from the first step of my wonder. Um, I now have some new cards. Um, archery range. Um, hmm. I've got three brick. So what I could do is I could use that archery range to, again, build a wonder, the second step of my wonder. That'll give me two military. That's the second second stage bonus there. Okay. Um Quarry gives me two stone, or I can take the papyrus for free. I don't want to pay anyone any more money, so I'm just going to take the papyrus for free. And I think that's it. Military conflict. Let's see who's... Okay, so all in all, um, I it looks like there's a military victory against Alexandria. Three victory points awarded there. Age three. This is the last age. So I've got uh, one, two, th I've got enough ore, so I could build that for seven victory points, but I want to see what other cards I might. Every card here requires some sort of money, but the one in the end, the gardens, um, I have a little chain symbol, so I can just drag that up here and get five victory points. Done. Next set of cards. Oh, that's a lot of military there. I, could, I can guarantee my military if I take one of those military cards. What does this purple one do? One victory point for each brown card in both neighboring cities. They don't have a whole lot of brown cards. So I don't think I'm going to do that. What's this other one? That's a red card. I can't take it. Um, hmm. Let's... I mean, I guess the military. Um, 
I'm gonna I'll go ahead and take this one. So now my military is nice and high. I'm hoping that I'll get a nice chunk of bonus from the end of that, assuming I stay ahead of everyone else. Um, I definitely want to play... Let's get rid of this um, Academy and build the third stage of my wonder. I have the resources, might as well. Uh, okay, the Pantheon. Seven victory points. I have to pay someone four gold coin to do it. Um, I can also discard a card just to get three coin, but I don't think I want to do that. What is the scientist guild? What is that? Grants one scientific symbol of your choice. Well, I don't have any green, so I'm, I'm not going after that, obviously. You know what? Let's go ahead and pay the four gold coins to get seven. All right. Um, what is this one here? One victory point for each. No, I don't like that. I could build it for free. I'd get one, what, two, two points for that for free. This one is for each blue card in neighboring cities. But again, he only, I only see two there. One on the one, one on the other side. Uh, so, and then we've got this science card. Right, let's just build this one for free. We'll get a couple of victory points for it. And then the last, lastly, what is this one? One coin for each brown card in your city grants one victory point for each brown card in your oh perfect oh yeah we'll pay two gold coin for that okay well let's see who won military conflict all right that's not too bad not too bad end of game uh i don't think i won Wow, I got in third place, really? Or, no. Which one am I? <laughs> I don't even know which one I am. Um, I know I didn't have... Okay, I'm the bottom one. I I'm in third place. Apparently that science really killed me. The computer had 13 science uh, first place, and the second place person had 31 science. I had zero. But I had a lot of points with uh, the blue. I had some with the gold there. So it makes me wonder, what, what did I do wrong here? I mean, I thought I was doing pretty well, and then all of a sudden, bam. I mean, to be fair, I only lost by three points for second place and five points for first place. It was a very tight game. But yeah, I mean, if you guys have played this game before and have any tips for me, I totally appreciate it. Um, so that was Seven Wonders for my second or third game. Um, I'm, I, I really would like to see difficulty levels in this for you know new players, but other than that, so far, it's a really cool game. I don't know if I'll ever buy the actual full version, the tabletop game. It's 50 bucks or so. But um, I, I like the app so far. I'll be playing this more often. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.